your mother talks about Albania becoming a, a European country. We just want to be a normal country. And, and that's discourse you hear repeatedly. You know, but you also in Italy. Why did Italy, when it was probably not in its national self-interest, join the Eurozone? We wanted to be a, a, a normal European country. That like basically means you want to be like Germany or, or France. Yeah. Um, so there's these mo- sort of multiple geometries of normality. Um, and, and today, you know, Albania has um, all the things that your mum wanted, respects private property. Uh, there's a respect for contract, a, a, a huge space for private enterprise. You know, its GDP per head is probably where Spain was in 1990. And people in, in 1990 thought that Spain was a, a developed, transitioned country. Mm-hmm. So what are the conditions even for the ideologues for Albania to have quote unquote transitioned? I mean, I, I agree with you, it's a fiction and it's it's got little tangible meaning, but I, I wonder, I mean, there are some examples of it, right? They could say, well, Singapore or South Korea, they transition. So what, what's the kind of ideal type of the transitioned country for, for places like Albania? I suspect there will be a set of rules and norms that are the standards that are required to, for example, join the European Union. So the European Union has a set of criteria which are part of its conditionality when it enters a process of negotiation with new members. And in the Balkans and around all these countries, for example, in Albania, the discourse around joining the EU is really, really strong. And the idea is, have we done everything that we need to do in order to be part of the European Union? And I suspect it will be officially have transitioned once it's part of the European Union. But then you understand that what they mean when they talk about Europe or European values, it's actually a very small sample of European states, because if you look at Poland or Hungary, these are countries that in some ways have transitioned because they're already part of the EU. But in another way, you wouldn't say, well, they are the foremost representatives of European values. Mm. You don't have those in mind when you think about the EU. So our very interpretation of the EU is actually a very small sample of EU states that have developed under particular conditions, often against the background of an unjust past. And those- The, clo- the darker, colonial powers, basically. Exactly, and ba- exactly the, the former great powers, which were always in charge of the fate of small states in the Balkans, but you also place like Ukraine and so on. Uh, so all small nations throughout their history, I think have been at the mercy of great power politics. It's just that now, because it's nationalistic and politically incorrect to call them great powers, you call them the European Union or you give them some other more benign name and you don't talk about civilizational emancipation, but you talk about conditionality. But effectively, I think the dynamic of political relation is very similar. Yeah. Would you call the European Union a superpower, a great power? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, of course, I would go further. I would say it's a neo-colonial power, but uh, people wouldn't, that wouldn't res- necessarily resonate with a lot of people in Albania, because that is the, you know, if you have this promise that you will be part of this club, then once you're in the club, you're effectively joining as an equal, then you know, you, it's, it's a different dynamic. Why, why do so many Albanians want to join the European Union when the last 30 years, from the perspective of economic growth and whatnot, has actually been Pretty good. I mean, I was looking at Albania's GDP stats. I mean, of course, these don't tell the whole story, but I think in um, in 1990, Italian GDP per head was about nine times Albania, and today it's about three times Albania, mm-hmm. which would suggest you're doing you're doing just fine without the European Union. And, and when you see what it's done to countries like Greece and so on, I I wonder is there an argument inside Albania for a different kind of developmental path or is that just no debate is over is, join the there, european there union there is no discussion in fact that is what i think kills politics in the country is that there is no discussion around that because then everything becomes part of a technocratic technocratic project of how you could join it rather than is it right to join it or not and what does the eu represent which i think also means that when you do join it you join it as someone who has joined from the position of a dependent nation rather mm. than someone who joins as an equal and that matters a lot for the dynamic of the european union Union, if you never question. So I'm not against joining Albania joining the EU, by the way. I think there is a set of opportunities, mobility, and also culturally, I believe in supranational units in a way. So there's something about the European project that appeals to me, regardless of the shortcomings of European Union institutions as such. But for me, it's just a site where you could expand a concern right. for social justice and, and a set of social struggles. So I'm not I'm not saying that, you know, all these countries should just entrench and kind of develop their own path. But I think when they do engage with this process, they should engage with it in a critical way that brings what their resources and their past and their history to the mm. table. And from which also European Union institutions could learn because they just get a different perspective from the one that keeps repeated in Brussels. 
And I think that is what is missing. And that's exactly not having a critique of the European Union does that. It deprives domestic politics of an essential debate that would be important to have, mm. even if the ultimate goal is joining. Mm. You're a Kantian. How could you be opposed to supranational uh, uh, families of nations? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, no. So I mean, it's. I, I mean, so I don't love the EU, but I think there's something about the European project that is important and and worth thinking about.